Super Doppler 7 weather. Pretty amazing to see another round of showers and thunderstorms out there yesterday. Well, things have settled nicely during the overnight. Here's the latest live scan of the skies with Super Doppler 7 here. We're always watching over the Albuquerque Metro just to make sure, and you can see, not a thing showing up right now. And that's also the story statewide. Do we even have any cloud cover? Maybe across the far east, central, and northeastern part of the state, some departing clouds into west Texas will be seen very early this morning. But otherwise, yeah, it just looks super duper quiet out there. Now let's look back at the rainfall. Sunday, a tenth of an inch. Yesterday, Monday, brought a point one three. The new number for the calendar year, three point six four inches. We are over an inch above average, and we've almost hit the two inch mark here for the month of May. This month of May going down is one of the cooler wetter Mays in uh, recorded weather history for the Albuquerque Metro. Still a few days to go before we compile all the numbers in. Statistics. So west and north of the Albuquerque metro, that's where most of the 30s and 40s are showing up. There are a couple chilly spots, but sitting at 52 right now at the Sunport, and there are mostly low to mid 50s across southern New Mexico. Uh, look at all the goose eggs here on the wind speed map right now. Gallup, Grants, Albuquerque, Berlin, all with calm winds. Your winds have calmed down to Angel Fire as well. If you do have just a little bit of wind blowing, it's only about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And today, generally speaking, looks like we can call it a light wind day. A 3, a 6, a 7, and a 9 showing up. Uh, later this afternoon, It'll be winds blowing out of the west and just south of west, but again, light stuff, kind of between weather systems here. The pattern's still somewhat active, and we're thinking later on this week, by Thursday and then into Friday, we're really going to start to see another significant uptick in the storm coverage here around the state. But today, boy, just a few showers could spot the sky across western and northern New Mexico. It uh, does look like the rain chances and the mountain snow chances are looking better up there into Colorado. Kind of the same story applies to our Wednesday. Most of us enjoying the quieter skies, and maybe just a touch breezier, but you can see we're almost rain-free around the state, but the showers are pretty numerous once again across central and southern Colorado. Uh, let's talk temperatures today. With the expectation of sunshine and mostly dry skies, it is looking about 5 to oh, almost 10 degrees warmer than yesterday for most of our northern mountain New Mexico cities. And in the four corners, it looks like mid-70s. And look at Española there at 76 degrees. Low 70s expected around Raton and Vegas. And the winds today, while well, we're thinking across the north central and northwestern part of the state, that's where the breeze will be at their strongest, and there could even be a shower or two just enhancing your wind gusts. Should be all the way dry, lots of sunshine, and mostly single digit wind speeds here across the south. A great day to be on the Elephant Butte at 84 T or C, and we're flirting with the 90 degree mark from Roswell down to Carlsbad, starting to see these appropriate levels of summertime heat showing up around the state. 77 for Albuquerque. Hey, that's seven warmer than yesterday, but still about five below average. I think we will hit 70 degrees in Santa Fe. And loads tonight looking fairly comfy. West and north. Of Albuquerque, that's where we'll see most of the 30s and 40s. Otherwise, it should be a night where most of us only get down into the 50s. Here's a look at the seven day forecast, and we promised you some pool time temperatures for this week. They're still on track. Basically, after today, every day in the 80s. So, woohoo, we've got that going for us. Uh, in Albuquerque, anyway, the next significant chance for picking up some thunderstorms looks like it'll come as we wrap the week up on Saturday. Todd, Marissa. My goodness, thank you.